Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You are watching South Asia Newsline and have the top stories we are tracking for you on PM Modi embarks on three nation tour. First stop is Japan to attend G7 summit. Imran Khan condemns attack on Pak Amin solutions seeks probe. And Nepal PM says will raise EPG border issue during India visit. And now for all the details, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Friday embarked on a three-nation visit making his first stop in Japan's Hiroshima to attend the G7 summit. He is also likely to hold bilateral meetings on Saturday with his Japanese counterpart Fumio Kishida on the sidelines of the three-day gathering before joining the Quad meeting with the leaders of the US, Japan and Australia. PM Modi's presence at the G7 summit would be particularly meaningful in view of India's G20 presidency. He will later leave for Papua New Guinea for the first ever visit by an Indian PM to the Pacific Island nation. In the last leg of his tour, the Prime Minister will visit Australia. Pakistan's former PM and PTI chief Imran Khan has condemned the attack on military installations and public properties and demanded a probe into the matter. At his maiden press conference following his arrest last week that provoked countrywide violence, Khan said the burning of the Lahore Corps Commander House has been blamed on him and his party on purpose. He emphasized that he has always talked about peaceful protest within the law and the constitution. Meanwhile, an anti-terrorism court in Lahore on Friday granted pre-arrest bail to Imran Khan until June 2 in cases filed against him following the May 9 violence that ensued after his arrest in the al qaeda trust case. The court, however, directed the PTI chief to become a part of the investigation. China has been actively managing Afghanistan's foreign relations as a guarantee to help it escape its current state of isolation and to expand its own economic presence in the sanctions hit country, according to a report by Khama Press. In a trilateral dialogue held in Islamabad last week, Amir Khan Muttaki, the Taliban's foreign minister, agreed with China and Pakistan to extend China's Belt and Road Initiative to Afghanistan, potentially drawing in billions of dollars in the sanctions hit country. Afghanistan sits as a key geographical trade and transit route between South and Central Asia and has billions of dollars of untapped mineral resources. The Taliban administration with seize power in 2021 has, however, not been recognized yet by any foreign government. A Sri Lankan court has lifted the overseas travel ban on former Premier Mahinda Rajapaksa almost a year after his resignation from the top office. President Council had asked the court to relax the travel restrictions on Rajapaksa and three other lawmakers citing the fact that none of them had been listed as suspects in the investigation, Lankan news outlet News First reported. The restriction was imposed over the former president with regard to the May 9 violent clashes in Colombo, where his supporters and anti-government protesters clashed, during which at least 10 people were killed and over 200 injured. The backlash and demonstration by anti-government supporters led to Mahinda Rajpaksa resigning as prime minister. Nepal's Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dehel has prepared to raise issues about submission of report of eminent persons group and the land dispute with India in the upcoming India visit, dates of which are yet to be announced. Responding to a question during Thursday's parliamentary meeting, Dehel claimed not to undermine the national interest during visit, which has been postponed multiple times. <laughs> Amilai Chimekiko Eki Jamin Pani Chaindaina. You Niti on Targot, Ami Nepalka Sobe Rantik Dolaru, Rayo Shamanit Sodan, Sobaine, Ami Yek Matnai Song, Te Maneta Bitra Royana Nai. Nepal's ties had strained with India in 2020 after Kathmandu published a political map that showed the three Indian territories as part of the Himalayan country. Officials of both the countries have agreed to resolve the border issue through diplomatic means. 
Moving on, India plans to mandate the use of 1% of sustainable aviation fuel for domestic airlines in a bid to cut emissions from the sector by the year 2025, Oil Minister Hardeep Singh Puri said on Friday. The final mandate would require approval by the cabinet, the minister said at an event to receive the country's first local flight powered by Biojet. Unlike the US and the European Union, India does not have policies governing sustainable aviation fuel yet. Puri said for jet fuel mixed with 1% SAF, about 140 million litres of biofuels are needed. He said the mandate could rise to 5% if more volumes of biofuels are available. We are starting with the modest 1% in one flight, which will be taken to 1% in all flights, and then will be taken to a percentage which will depend on the amount of feedstock we can get. Married Hindu women in India observed a fast and tied sacred thread around the banyan tree to mark Vat Savitri Vrat on Friday. Take a look. Hindu devotees in parts of India thronged the banks of sacred rivers to take a holy dip and performed rituals to mark the Vat Savitri Vrat on Friday. As part of the tradition, married women tie sacred threads around the trunk of banyan trees to celebrate the festival, during which they fast and pray for the long lives of their husbands. Savitri, who was a princess according to Hindu mythology, impressed the Hindu god of death Yamraj by fasting and convinced him to grant her husband Satyavan a new life. Satyavan and Savitri ki isme ek kahani ek bahut lambi kahani hai ki unki jeevan ki raksha unki to mrityu ho chuki thi to lekin Yamraj ne unki unko matlab is vrat ke prabhav se Yamraj ne unko pran daan de diye the. इसीलिए फिर उसके बाद से ये व्रत मतलब प्रसिद्ध हो गया और इसका नाम वट सावित्री व्रत कहा जाने लगा और इसीलिए इसी दिन स्त्रियां अपना व्रत भी रखती हैं और पति के लिए उनकी दीर्घायु के लिए the women wrap the raw yarn around the banyan tree seven times to pray that their relationship with their husbands lasts seven births apart from clothes and fruits they offer bangles and vermilion, the mark of married women in Hindu culture, to the banyan tree. The banyan is considered sacred because of its longevity. इसमें सब सुहाग की चीजें दान की जाती हैं, जैसे अल्टा, चूड़ी, बिंदी, सिंदूर, सब सिंगार के समान दान किए जाते हैं, फल दान किए जाते हैं. The women break the day-long fast after offering prayers and hearing a priest recite the tale of Savitri and Satyavan. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time next week. Have a great weekend. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.